Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Crypto Slayer. I'm going to be talking about the Shane Ellis theory, which is a response to the wild price prediction that XRP is one day going to reach $589. If you guys are not familiar with that, this guy named um, the bearable guy, one, two, three, is this bear right here with like a Christmas hat. And he's talking about a number called 589. Some people say that this means a full circle because if you multiply those three numbers you multiply five times eight times nine hold on five times eight times nine you get 360 which is basically a full circle guys uh, that's some, what some people believe that this number signifies uh, others think it's a price others think it has to do more with like with comics 589 which is some regulation um, but who knows this is just a wild theory, in my opinion, because I'm I'm care more about fundamentals. I care more about the technology, and I know that there's value in the protocol. So um, I don't even care if there's a theory for, for going to 10 million or 1 million dollars a coin. I, I just see the technology, and I'm just very bullish on it, and that's why I make these videos, guys. So just because I'm sharing videos about so-called insiders and I'm sharing these theories doesn't mean that I personally subscribe to them. I'm just showing these. Uh, reactions my reaction to it for entertainment purposes and it's just to make research more fun you know and so you guys are not bored of me making content about random or recent articles where I can go on and on this is just more of the fun side of things when it comes to researching XRP and all these coins that are connected to the new financial system but yeah let me, let's let's get right into it guys this is the Shane Ellis 589 theory so this is where it says shout out to cryptomaniac 101 for posting this but this is the unedited version it was in may 17 2019 so this is about two years old and there's there has been a lot of youtubers in the xrp community that have posted their own versions of this of this of explaining the the shane endless theory and talking about it um this is just my take on it and you know giving my reaction hope you guys are enjoying this content and if you are um, definitely leave a like that's all i ask from you guys is to leave a like and, and comment i'm not shilling anything i'm not like other youtubers that are selling you merch or that are selling you courses i used to have a patreon but i took i don't really promote that because i feel like me asking for a like or for a subscription if you're enjoying my content is is enough and i don't need to be asking you guys for money you know i'm just satisfied knowing that you guys are loving and enjoying the content that's 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 what gets me going okay that's it i don't really care about money um youtube doesn't pay a lot so i don't think that, like people are getting rich off youtube people are getting rich by shilling courses by shilling patreon that's how people get rich in this community it's not by videos because youtube doesn't pay a lot they pay like seven dollars per thousand views if any if you get lucky if you're even monetized so but yeah anyway uh, let me not go on a tangent <laughs> let's talk about this before before i i go off topic but i recently posted the below and as you have also touched on the subject then i would like you to consider these facts before stating that xrp will take extreme amounts of money to reach 589 dollars please take particular note of the section where i show on the bitrex exchange that transacting small amounts of money can push up the price dramatically Please do not be fooled into thinking that it will take billions of dollars to force the price of XRP to the extremes. It will not. I wanted to say thank you for making a video that does not berate others for suggesting a price of 589 as many others have. I have posted many comments explaining why, in my professional opinion, XRP can reach very high numbers dramatically faster than any other coin which is currently on the market. As you have opened this discussion, I wanted to go through the simplification of this process as you may hopefully share this information and thus see for yourself a confirmation, if you will, of how this will be achieved. As you know, Ripple have now partnered with a number of exchanges around the world and surely this number will grow. This network of liquidity providers will become the go-to place for buy and sell orders for retail market makers as they are the exchanges that are servicing transactions for the payment flows of the institutions if an exchange is not within this liquidity network then the xrp on these exchanges will drain away as retail investors begin to move their xrp on the platform this will happen due to either one arbitrage although other exchanges will not let the price fluctuate too much as to not miss out on the higher prices and two 
the natural migration to preferred exchanges for rapid buy-sell opportunities. As one can expect, no exchange will want to miss out on the potential for making money where servicing XRP transactions would provide a healthy income stream for the exchange. Unfortunately, most exchanges are simply not large enough with enough capital backing for Ripple to sign them as a preferred exchange. Now, onto the method of price increase which I believe will occur. We can guarantee that the spread on the exchange for XRP will be extremely tight as to ensure near-perfect entry and exit from the Ripple Preferred Partner Solution RPPS, from now on. The RPPS consortium will also be working within a framework that will ensure coordinated price movement of XRP to eliminate arbitrage trading from the XRP fiat pairs, which will then obviously filter into the SD Tether, US, you know, Tether Bitcoin markets on these exchanges. That's even if they still exist at this point. I want to add something. He's basically alluding to the fact that in the future, the Tether and Bitcoin pairs will probably be regulated. Like Tether is a big scam according to some people in, in the xrp community they're not really backing every single usdt with the U real dollar so that could imply that you know the the coupling will start when when tether gets regulated essentially but it will be a requirement that these third party pairs will need to decouple from xrp as to ensure that extreme price fluctuations in bitcoin will never impact the price of xrp because even a price drop of one cent will have a dramatic impact on the movement of value when we are talking about millions of dollars. All right, let's continue. Now we know that the members of RPPS have been and continue to be pre-funded with XRP so they may service the XRAPID transactions. By the way, XRAPID has been renamed to ODL or on-demand liquidity. This pre-funding is necessary to guarantee transactions made by financial institutions we can't have any of the transactions fail due to a lack of XRP liquidity. These exchanges will also be reliant on the XRP provided by market makers to bolster the XRP liquidity thus adding to the exchange's total supply. Now, the exchanges will prefer at first to use the XRP from market makers to increase the price of the XRP token. Why do I say this? Because it simply makes sense to use immediately available XRP to raise the price in a dramatic fashion. This then increases the exchange reserve pool that must service the transaction request, but now it has been tr increased dramatically. Let me explain. So here he shows Bittrex order book data that shows what it would take for the XRP to go from $0.27 cents to $100 and beyond. So I'm, I'm going to go to that in a bit. Let me show you guys where you can find the Ripple ecosystem. So you go on xrprk.com, you can see every financial institution, bank, company that is connected to the Ripple ecosystem, either via RippleNet or ODL. And you can also go to markets, and under that, you can find the fiat pairs of XRP, which includes the XRP and USD pair, XRP Euro, XRP British Pound, on and on. So here you can see how popular XRP as a currency is, you know, to go from the, the traditional fiat currencies to, you know, something digital like XRP. So obviously there's going to be plenty of liquidity available once the system goes live. ODL exchanges. So in XRPRK.com, if you go to Ripple under that, you go to ODL exchanges, you have a list of the ODL exchanges. Uh, one of them that Shane Ellis, you know talks about is bitrex so you can click on here and you can see what that looks like anyway let's continue with the shane ellis theory so bitrex order book currently shows that from 27 cents to a dollar 49 totals forty seven thousand and seventy eight dollars so through the xrp slash fiat pairing which is the same channel that will be used by rpps simply transacting forty seven thousand dollars or more at this point will instantly push the price of xrp to a dollar and 49 cents per token so the bitrix order book currently shows that from 27 cents to 25 dollars totals three million six hundred and fifty one thousand dollars so that means that transacting 3.6 million dollars or more at this point will instantly instantly push the price of xrp to 25 dollars <laughs> and 
Bittrex order book currently shows that from $0.27 cents to $100 totals $3.7 million. That means that transacting $3,743,000 or more at this point will instantly push the price of XRP to $100. Anything, I guess, above that number, you know, $3.7 million and above will, will give you higher and higher you know, price targets for this token for it to be able to handle that value being transferred through ODL. So now the XRP price numbers get much higher than this if you take a look for yourself, but it makes sense to use these orders to push up the price in a dramatic fashion as to provide a stable pool of XRP liquidity to service further institutions and, and foreign exchange transfers. So the exchange at this point can then create large buy slash sell walls at either side in the magnitude of tens of millions of XRP from their very own supply to ensure price stability by performing the simple maneuver the exchange cannot be accused of XRP price manipulation as the retail orders were filled first and then the exchange stepped in to service the rest of the transactions interesting right guys <laughs> now put on your moon boots because this is getting crazy I mean the phrase at this point due to the fact that no retail investor knows when X rapid or now known as ODL is going to go live so this can in fact happen at any time. That's why you have a lot of insiders and, and people in the XRP community saying that if XRP and these other ISO tokens go up in price dramatically, it can happen quote unquote overnight. So and Ripple needs it to remain this way. By ensuring that this they can guarantee a one time rapid price increase. One large green candle going up to space that professional investors will also be glad of. Or people that were in XRP before the massive price increase. Right? That's what I, I assume. <laughs> I mean, none of us will hate that. We'll all be happy. Uh, regardless of whether it happens over a couple days or overnight, the people that are in are going to benefit for sure. That are already in and know what they hold. They will want to ensure, in fact, guarantee that market makers are then priced out of the market. And those who are intelligent enough to have already purchased right where I was saying will be flocking to sell their XRP in an instant they will need to sell at a, at a lower rate to ensure the sell of their coins is, as placing them in a pool of tens of millions of XRP will not fill their order immediately okay let me continue with the article I know this seems such a simple process to be believable but make no mistake this will happen and it will be happening all over the world on the RPPS at the same time as all XRP liquidity providers will begin tight alignment regards XRP price. MB, I wanted to add the figure for you, which is an easy to understand number that will guarantee a price of $500 per XRP. This is on a single exchange granted, but when XRP goes live, and it will without the knowledge of retail investors, that's us, right? Uh, the production the production's corridors will begin to flow simultaneously this will happen and the price will increase in perfect synchronicity on all ripple preferred exchanges all over the world so bitrex order book currently shows that from 27 cents to 500 dollars totals 39 million five hundred and forty four thousand dollars so that means that transacting 39 0.5 million dollars or more at this point will instantly push the price of XRP to $500 per token. He said, "Now let me be clear: 39 million five hundred forty-four thousand dollars is all it would take to push up this price on the USD slash XRP market. All other markets, BTC XRP, Ethereum slash XRP pairs, and the USDT XRP pair on this exchange will rise in tandem as to coincide with this price." It will not it will not take billions of dollars to push up this price. You can see this now. You have mentioned that you have been in the markets for some time now and you must know that there are small and large jumps in between the sell orders. It is the sell orders that bring up the price. No one can buy if there is no sell order. Yeah, if there's no one selling, who's gonna be buying? Exactly. So hope this helps. And then he talks about if you want to support them. Again, shout out to Cryptomaniac for this article right here that we get to read by the way this is not financial advice because i'm not a financial advisor i'm just giving my reaction to this shane ellis theory guys that says that xrp can go to 500 dollars, and according to that theory it will happen and it could happen overnight 
So yeah, and what else I wanted to don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Crypto Slayer. That's how you guys can keep up with what I'm researching in the market. And on top of that, check out the XRPRK.com website. It's a great resource, guys, for information on Ripple and stuff. Um, this is the exchange that Shane that the Shane Ellis theory was referring to, the Bitrex ODL exchange. Navadi taps Ripple ODL for remittance payments. So I don't think it's live yet, but they're still partners, so they're they're on board for sure. And you know, here's the website for Navadi.com. They do payment processing and a bunch of other things. Uh, they're a Visa principal partner. They deal with cross-border payments as well. So they're perfect for Ripple's uh, use case of RippleNet and ODL. And look, Volante is another organization. They're, they're partnered with uh, Microsoft, Amazon Web Services. And I think uh, there's other like partnerships here, including Swift, Nacha, which is a preferred partner. And then you got the U.S. Faster Payments Council, which are these guys right here. Let me show you all what I'm talking about. It's the, the guys behind Fedwire, the clearinghouse. And on top of that, hold on. It's the guys that delayed the ISO 222 implementation to, I think, about late 2023. So they're the ones that kind of advised the Federal Reserve in, in the implementation of this. Instead, from instead of happening in phases in, in the first phase taking place on November 23, 2020 to happen and opt for a kind of like a same day implementation. So that's the organization behind that. Then they're also partnered with Accenture. Um, also SIA, SIA is a partner of Quant and the Overledger. Guys, all these connections. Swift GPI and Ripple, is, it shows that Volpay, which is Volante Pay, supports all major cross-border payment networks and it's these ones right here. Uh, on top of that, ISO 222 migration deals with the solutions for Swift, Fedwire, Euro One, T2, and other clearing infrastructures. 50% um, average customer savings in cost and time using Volante. So people are really saving money with Volante, guys, which is implementing Ripple technology. And this is the, the timeline, guys, of the ISO 222 migration slash implementation. Here it is. I've shown you guys this image a lot. Um, these are the customers of Volante. You got Goldman Sachs. Okay, City, there's uh, First American Trust, TAB Bank, BNY Mellon, Postpay, FinBank, a lot of institutions, guys. And so if Volante is partnered with Swift and Ripple, they got Goldman Sachs on top of that and BNY Mellon. So yeah, they got everything they basically need. And this is the website, guys, the Federal Reserve FRBservices.org that shows the Fedwire Fund Service ISO 222 Implementation Center. Gives you all the information and educational resources surrounding the ISO 222 messaging standard. I'm gonna be talking about the Kendra Hill theory as well because I know a lot of you guys commented on my recent video about the XLM or Stellar Agenda and you guys were telling me to post that next. So I'm gonna do that guys, don't worry. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did, definitely leave a like again, comment. If you have any suggestions for future uploads, I'll get to it as soon as possible. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.